primary swing thought, some form of covering the ball. I kind of have like a little a bag of the same thoughts, and hopefully one of those thoughts in that bag works for the day. <laughs> A lot has to do with tempo. Just committing to the shot. I'm a big feel guy. Turn your body and club through together. Justin Thomas has long been one of the preeminent ball strikers on the PGA Tour. Coming from a long line of PGA professionals, he's very fundamental, and he has a little old school about this golf swing. Powerful off the tee, incredible with the irons in the hand. He has all of the weapons in this golf swing loaded with dynamics, all sorts of speed and power. He's got the full weapons cache. That is ideal right there. That is long. What a good tee shot. That was pretty much maxed out. At address, unlike most, Justin at just five foot ten is bent over a little bit more and you can see how the chest looks like it's covering the ground a lot more and if I dropped a plumb line down from the shoulders you can see how the handle is right underneath that. He also carries a fairly low shaft angle at address because of the way the chest hangs and the arms droop down. Now that defines the start of the swing but not the rest. So watch as he starts away. Club hovered very much like all the great drivers of the ball. The club head remains outside the hands, and right there, he is in a beautiful position to allow the arm swing to travel up the chest, yet not give up any of the spine angle that he has created. So the body remains down, yet the arms swing up. This is in contrast to most golfers who will stretch into the backswing. So now you'll see JT have the club travel right up this line as he rotates. Into the top of the backswing, no loss in spine angle. Again, that's out of the ordinary. Most power guys will stretch up to that, not Justin Thomas. At the top, still beautifully in the spine angles. I love it when I can see a match there between the club face and the leading arm. And how about this leading arm? That is way up there nice and high and which for my money is beautiful because it gives him room to really allow this club to fall into transition when he changes direction. Now remember that spine angle. Watch how the lower body unwinds violently on that but he doesn't give up any of the shape in the upper body. Check this out. Chest looking at us, hips already turning to the target. Spine in position but the feet released. That is super dynamic, super mobile, and just super for generating energy. Wrist real strong there in the left hand. And from here, watch how the legs push up. So much so he leaves that forward foot, yet somehow he presents that club face directly into the back of the ball with this club shaft right on point. And again, there is the spine angle. And check this out too. That trailing elbow below the shaft. That is the hallmark of a great striker. Now, with the feet all the way released, somehow he still keeps the spine angle. That is sensational, super mobile, and just super dynamic. And it's the reason why Justin Thomas, at only 5 foot 10, 160 pounds, can absolutely lace it off the tee. Justin Thomas at the drivable par 4 12th. Oh, he can hoist it. Please go ahead. Yeah, I'm getting greedy. <laughs> that was great audio. Please go in. Yeah, I'm getting greedy. Stay. That left for a two. JT, launch mode activated. Has the characteristics of all the power drivers. The forward ball position. A little bit of tilting in the spine. Wide base, the wide stance here. And that gives him a little extra grip in the ground. And of course, the hovering club head. I would advocate that for any golfer of any skill level. So from there, he can sweep away into this really wide backswing of his. But bear in mind, this is a man, as we pointed out, who does not stretch upward in the body. You see how the body is actually lowering as we get the club shaft to parallel and nice and wide. Now consider this lowering because it continues as he now works up to the top of his backswing. The upper body will rotate, continue to hold its shape, 
and the arms stretch up all the way to the top of that swing. Check out this picture. Full rotation of the upper body. Hips beautifully underneath him. Look at this extension there in the spine. That is power city. Now the key for that is to unwind all this stuff and watch what happens. I'll draw a boundary here and then step of the foot. There he is halfway down. Look at how this forward leg is pushing up and back and watch how the hips are rotating out of the way. And as that forward leg pushes up, pay attention to this foot right over there. On the way to impact, he's pushing, he's turning, he's extending the arms and he is unloading with absolutely full extension. Legs pushed off the ground, arms at full extension. Look at that connection there from the left shoulder through the hands to the club head. That golf ball has felt it. And from there, everything just flows through at high speed, all sorts of velocity as the foot plants back in the ground, and he spots a beautiful landing. And that's another tee shot well down the fairway and long. Oh, that's just absolutely perfect. He <laughs> blasted it. <laughs> you were talking about the left heel? It was lifted off the ground right there. And it went further than normal. If you want a close-up of GRF, ground reaction forces, well, we got you. This is Justin Thomas's forward foot into the downswing. He pushes down on the ground. Now watch. The ground pushes right back. Now, as that forward leg is extending, force is going upward. Look at this. A foot nearly leaving the ground. There's contact with a perfectly square club face, despite what's happening with this forward leg. How's this for another look? There, the force is down in the ground, in the ball of the feet. He's pushing, body's rotating. As the body's rotating, he's elevating. Three-point shooter at its best. Look at that all the way through to the follow-through. And JT is now going to put that foot back down with the toes pointing to the targets. That is how you use your forward leg. But you've got to hold your spine angles like we've seen because if all of that foot action is going on, you must remember you still have to get the club through the ball properly. And that club face through the ball was magnificent. See, he lifted his left leg on this one. Wow, that was impressive. That was the full Monty. Justin Thomas comes from a long line of PGA professionals. His father, Mike, who's his longtime coach, was a PGA pro. Justin's granddad was a PGA pro. So Justin, you would expect, would be very fundamental in everything he does, because that's the PGA's mantra. PGA, Professional Golfers Association. Also, posture, grip, alignment. So check out the posture. Just beautiful here as you draw a few references just from the feet to the sky. You see how Justin's body fits into that area beautifully. Look how the arms just hang down naturally in front of his body from the shoulders. Here's a one to really pay attention to. His ears. There's not too much hunching over in the chest. Ear is just above shoulder lines. So posture, gorgeous. The grip. Just marvelous here, yeah, the hands, how they fit on the golf club, very standard. And the alignment, you can see how everything is matching up shoulders, forearms, knees, hips, and feet, and they're all going in this direction toward the target. So very standard at address. Now, one thing to bear in mind, he's got this very free, very wide swing arc, but to me, the engines are how the feet and the hips move, but also watch this left shoulder, that one right there. Watch now as Justin swings back, that left shoulder is going to travel down and under his chin. The chin moves a little to the right, but watch how the shoulder travels under the chin. That's part of him rotating around his spine angle, doing a beautiful job now as the arms continue to swing up to the top of the backswing. Shoulder under the chin. That is just gorgeous there. Now, you want to do what you did on the way back, but in the opposite direction. So now that lead shoulder will travel down and back around. Watch this. Weight shifts to the left. Left shoulder remains down and levels off. And then through there, it releases in behind him as everything works to a full free follow through. 
even though this was just a scoring club, very fundamental, very wide, beautifully stable body action, and turning on his body angles, it's part of what I feel like makes Justin Thomas a tremendous swinger of a golf club. He's becoming one of the best wedge players on the PGA Tour. It's not an aggressive line. Oh yeah, I can hear you, says Justin Thomas. From inside 125 yards, I feel like Justin Thomas is probably the best model for anyone. Even though it's in Exmo, watch the slow, unhurried, uninterrupted nature of this all. Watch how everything works together. See the quiet feet. Watch for the quiet hip action. Watch for how everything works together and there's no flash energy through the ball. The follow through happens, everything gets pulled by the velocity of the club and always he is into perfect balance with tremendous distance control. Now, was it 108 or was it 106? Which one gets it right? <laughs> it was 106. <laughs> Taking a deep dive into this, you will still see the stable spine action we've talked about. You'll still see foot action, but it will be quieter. You'll still see the upwards vertical arm swing. That's trademark, but it'll seem quieter. Watch. As he moves away, everything moves in unison. Perfect harmony. Bodies rotating gently, quietly, just supporting the swing of the arms. With a wedge, it's more of a swing of the arms out of Thomas than anything else. Now at the top, you'll see the shaft line is very much matching the forearm line. Just gorgeous. You'll see the slightest of shallowing there in the shaft angle just to allow a shallow approach coming down. So as the body unwinds, see the shaft shallows ever so slightly. Wrist stable, body unwinding, spine angles held, quiet feet, Slight opening of the body, but look at this chest, very square. And these forearms are essentially right back where he began. But the most important thing is the tip of the spear. And look at that club shaft and the ball right over the center of the club face. From there, no flashing speed into the follow through. Everything just swings through together. No haste, no wasted energy. He learned from Steve Stricker and Jimmy Johnson, change speed, change trajectory and hit lots of really good wedge shots. Oh, what a shot. That's the best shot we've seen here. Well, he just asked me if the green was clear, so Whoa. <laughs> there's the indication <laughs> okay. that uh, he's going well, he's right at it. Yeah, he went right up and over the trees. We are blocked out from where that ball is landing, so I can't well, see anything. it's on the green. Whoa, oh, hello. man. Whoa, whoa. Quite the shot. Yeah, much better contact. This is on a great line if it's enough. Oh, yeah, it is. This guy's wedge game is insane. So good. 